the 2015 world champions, Olympic medalists, Canadian champions. I'm sure there was, if there was like a champions of the universe thing, you would have won that too by now. How are you guys feeling here in Halifax this week so far? Uh, we feel really good that we had two great practices today. We feel comfortable. We've kind of revamped our short program, and it's given us a lot of confidence uh, coming into the second half of the season, and training has been going really well. So we're hoping just to continue the comfort level we have at home in competition this week. So there's a big difference as far as I'm noticing, and I think a lot of people have been saying this in terms of just how at ease you guys look this year, even compared to last year when you won Worlds. What is that just a maturity thing, life thing, or is it anything that you've changed in terms of your training that makes you look way more comfortable? I think that last season, that's what we learned, is how to let it all go, just not really care about results or what people think about us, and just go out there and do what we practice every day. And we tried to just carry along with that same idea, that same feeling this season. And uh, we struggled a little bit more than we were anticipating at the beginning of the season, but I think uh, after having some holidays like Christmas and coming back, we feel a little a sense of renewal. And that feeling of um, just going with the flow and not worrying so much has kind of, uh, it's kind of reignited now uh, in, the, in the second half of the season. And that's what we want to carry from now until the world. So, Again, t getting back to what people say, I mean, when it comes to the Grand Prix Final, you finished second, but your performance was, in a lot of ways, was stronger than performances that you did earlier in the season. How frustrating is it to deal with that kind of um, discussion about people saying, oh, you were second, you know, when the, when the quality of the skating isn't any different than it always was, is that... Well, we skated a really good long program. You did. That's what I'm saying, yeah. 143.9 is one of our highest scores internationally. So, I mean, we have nothing to feel ashamed about with that performance. And we left a couple points on the table. We had a couple of messy landings. Um, so we know that we have the potential to hit 150 if we skate perfectly. And we know that that's possible for us. Um, we can't control what the Russians or the Chinese or any other team score. Um, we're always hoping to do our best. And... Um, also do our best in the short program. At the Grand Prix Final, we didn't skate our best in the short program. Uh, and that's what we're going to have to focus on for the second half of the season is getting that lead in the short program that we got all last year uh, that we know we can get. And that gives us confidence as we enter the free speed at competitions. So what kind of changes have you made specifically to the short and the long? Uh, we've rearranged the order of some of the elements in the short program. Uh, we put the throw specifically earlier. Uh, we've changed a couple of the transitions. And it just makes the whole program a lot more open. We can breathe easier. It's a lot more free. There's more flow. And uh, it allows it gives us more space to give energy to the performance rather than sort of ticking off the technical elements which can leave people, they can see it, that we're, we're thinking while we're out there. The long programs pretty much stayed the same. Uh, we had made those changes before the Grand Prix final, and it's, it's been comfortable since the beginning. I haven't really needed to change anything else. And the last question I have for you guys is, in terms of, and I mean, there's always pressure, obviously, every time you're competing or skating, even in a show. People here in Halifax are really, really jazzed to see you guys skate tomorrow night. Are you going to feel any more pressure skating in your home country as the last competitions that you've done have been international? No, I don't think so. We really love skating in Canada at the Canadian Championships and at Skate Canada International, the Grand Prix event. And we always have great performances at those competitions. Um, we like the energy from the audience. They, they give us energy and they give um, us life 